Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning and happy Sunday. Thanks for checking me out. Um, I wanted to make this video as a follow-up to my Venom movie review and sort of explain why I came across so harsh. I think it's uh, my frustration with these movie studios sort of tricking us and giving us what we're not asking for when they put these movies out. I'll give you an example. Who is the genius that said, let's make a Godzilla movie, but you know what? We're gonna have the least in the movie, Godzilla. You remember that movie that came out a few years back when they were trying to establish the universe where the whole movie is just people talking and it has nothing to do with Godzilla except like the last 30 minutes or so? You know, that's a dumbass move. Um, let's bring it a little bit more recent. Um, who's the genius that said, let's make this Predator movie and let's uh, have the trailer show all these Predators, you know, all this cool stuff. And then the actual movie will be a father-son story. Does that make sense to you? I mean, the, the title says Predator, so I'm expecting when I go in there, I'm going to see a majority of the movie is going to be the Predator, not a father-son story. The trickery and the, the switcheroo that they're pulling is just frustrating. So when we go and we update it till present day and we get to this Venom movie, it's just like you're an hour, maybe a little bit more into the movie before Eddie Brock is in the Venom costume and the movie is only an hour and 30 minutes so do you see what i'm saying now but prior to that for the whole hour leading up to it we got to see all these different multiple characters and, and random people having symbiotes in them using the venom powers and doing things you know with the with the symbiote and they're experimenting on it they got it in labs and it's just the last person you ever get to see and the least person you get to see and with the symbiote is Eddie Brock in the Venom costume. It makes no sense. The title of the movie is called Venom. So that's what frustrates me about these movies. Um, take a, a look at what they did with Spider-Man Homecoming. They already are, are, even when they introduced him in Civil War, in Captain America Civil War, you know, the character of Spider-Man in the MCU, he already had his powers. They didn't give you no whole backstory, even in Spider-Man Homecoming. They didn't go through the whole spider bite and uh, and Uncle Ben getting shot. No, they, they sort of assumed when you go to see these movies, you know something about them. Or if not, you have a general understanding of who Spider-Man is because we've been telling these stories over and over for the last 20 years. You know, they've been making these comic book movies. So we assume you know who Spider-Man is. So as we meet him in the MCU, he has his powers. Now, I'm not saying they could have did that exact same thing with this Venom movie, but I do think that they could have had him get the symbiote suit at the beginning of the movie and sort of have that beginning of the movie be about him interacting with the symbiote himself and doing something much more than just what they did. Because you have all these hundreds of millions of dollars and you have all these writers who think they're so freaking smart. Well, who's the freaking genius that was in the room that says, hey, we're going to put this Venom movie out, but you know what we're not going to do? <laughs> Check this out, guys. I want you to come here. You know what we're not going to do? We're not going to put Venom in a movie till the last 30 minutes of the movie. <laughs> They're gonna love it. The fans are gonna love it. Like what the So that's why I get so frustrated with Hollywood and the whole industry and how they make movies. They put the title people, even Transformers. They least you see in the Transformer movies is Transformers. So that's just you know another example of what I'm saying. That's the problem with the Hollywood movie producers. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't care what they put out. So they'll just give us any old thing, and that's exactly what we got with this Venom movie. Um, my thoughts on the Venom movie, you can check out the review I put out yesterday. But anyway, y'all, that's just my thoughts on the problem with the Hollywood movie industries and how they can make the movie better is if you name a movie, put that person or title character in the freaking movie. All right, then, y'all. I'll catch your ass out there in this universe. Peace.